All right, yes. This video is all about the Track Store 2.0 travel backpack. And honestly, in this size, the 20 liter, it's really an EDC size, maybe a very light weekend bag because of its capacity. But most bags in the 19, 18 to 21 liter size are more EDC for me, everyday carry than they are travel. Like I said, unless you're doing a very light weekend. In this video, we're gonna dive into the details about the Track Store. I only have this 20 liter size and then we're going to compare it to another great bag in the same category one that when I saw this I initially said I have to compare it to my favorite dark oak heritage gr1 from go Ruck. so we're going to go head to head after we dive into the details on what this is so let's get right to it so yeah so here we are of course this is just the coolest thing now you're ready for anything. Super cool. That's what's on the bag. And uh, you know more about why now at the very end of the video, but uh, more about that later. Yeah, this thing, haven't had it very long. I got it right out of the bag, loaded it up, overstuffed it, and so here we are. So I'm gonna compare this uh, again to the GR1 in a little bit, but right now I just wanna talk about this one. And I got the olive color. Black was sold out, but I do like this olive. I don't have any olive. I don't have the heritages in olive, but that's cool. Anyway, externally, bottle pockets. And the bottle pockets are a big standout for me and something I wanted to check out. And I learned something when I had this in person and I'm gonna share that with you so that you know what I know. When I saw this initially, it's a very ingenious design because sort of the, you know, like say the bat wing on the back, the strap, shoulder strap attaches to this bat wing, well, all they did was expand it and allow you to put a bottle in there. And it's super cool. And at first glance, you just think maybe it's just these two strips material. Well, there's actually some more in there, some elastic to keep things in there when you're not, you know, having this on your back and pulling this on the strap. So that's nice. Now they're kind of small in the 20 liter size. And again, they come out with this in a 20, a 25 and a 35 liter size. Obviously pretty big, more into the travel categories for the bigger ones, but this one, the smallest, the 20 liter, it's a, uh, you know, EDC for me. Now, that elastic holds the 18 ounce Yeti, perfect. Also holds the Coloral size bottle, very nicely and tight in there, perfect. Not getting any of the bigger Nalgene's or the bigger Yetis in there. This one is perfectly sized, again, in the 20 liter. If I had the bigger bags, I would tell you what you could fit, but right now for this one, perfect size for me, on the go, EDC, 20 liter size. Now, besides the water bottles, let's just start in the back. Very nice, very nice back panel here, a central ridge for your spine, uh, and you know, the nice little mesh that goes up. So I like the design of that, nice little strengthening webbing across the bottom, and that's pretty much it. Now this one is completely flat, because I got the 13 inch MacBook Pro in there. That's what fits just perfectly. 14 inch probably wouldn't fit anything bigger than that. At least in this 20 liter size, that's gonna be perfect. AquaGuard zippers everywhere. It's one thing I'm not really sure about. Why is this AquaGuard zipper so buttery smooth? Not buttery smooth, it's a little rougher than a regular zipper, but it is nice. Go Ruck ones. Now on theirs, still, it's a little bit more resistance. I'm not really sure what version of AquaGuard they put on theirs, but it's a little rough. These, pretty nice, I would say. Cool. Laptop compartment in the back, I'll get into the pocket layout in a second, but the shoulder straps, again, box canvas, little attachment point up here, no sternum strap, nice little, uh, not Cobra, the same company makes these um, buckles, which are nice. Don't see those anywhere else. They're very robust. And the webbing is you know, basically a track standard. I've got a stranger to track. I've done the Baron, which I still have. I love this Baron. Baron is right here, Cobra. And it's the same canvas. More about canvas in a little bit. Super cool. 
but it's got the same straps as say the Bannock, which I also did a review of. I'll post a link to all those up here. Now this is one thing that is a little tiny detail that's just awesome. Because they don't have any sort of elastic on the outside, but they carry put this little piece of metal. I assume it's metal, feels metal. But it's just, that's your strap keeper. Nice little ring at the, at the bottom. And then nice little piece of metal thing goes down there and holds it from flapping all over, That's, which is nice. Nice little detail that I think is super cool. Again, nice little place in here. You can put a little carabiner or something else. Maybe put some sort of uh, sternum strap, maybe some sort of sternum strap in between there. But otherwise, super nice and comfortable. Now, one thing that I also will just briefly point out to you is look at the attachment point. When I put water bottles in here, it's like super wide. I honestly was like, I don't know how it's going to work out when you put that on. But it's surprisingly comfortable and the way it's just designed it more narrow at the top and flares out with that uh, it's actually really comfortable and i didn't have any problem when i cinched it up high on my back and again i i normally keep things high on my back that super comfortable i go all day i go on a trip with that and it's just fine i like it it was again better than i expected when i first saw that design i'm like oh that's gonna be way kicked out it's gonna be sort of uncomfortable not so i like it nice nice little patty on there super cool now the handle on the top centrally mounted and it is really wide i mean it goes super wide side to side it's just that nice little thick webbing sewn over but man it's just substantial um enough enough room in there for you to you know put your whole arm uh definitely just nice grab and go that is a highlight for me as well the way they did that in there it's just nice it feels great just nice that's a definitely home run so far now bottle pockets back panel front now this is where things get a little weird and this front pocket which only goes to about halfway i've got it jammed full of stuff more about that here in a little bit and then we get some other stuff but this front pocket is doesn't go full depth and we got a main compartment again aqua guard zippers on here and here's a little detail some people don't like they haven't liked on some of the track designs is the zipper pulls I'm kind of with you on that. Um, they're kind of jingly jangly, especially when we got two together. That might kind of not be your jam. But to be honest, you could, although it would take some some snipping and you wouldn't get them back on there, but you could, you know, quite easily pop those suckers off there and then route your own, you know, paracord sort of thing in there if that wasn't what your jam. Um, that's probably one thing I'll probably will do. So I don't, I'm not sure I like that. Anyway, a uh, little loop panel on here. It's probably a one by two. So none of your other patches are gonna fit, but you could put other little tiny patches. Your JB outside patch would fit sideways on there. The green wouldn't want really to match up though on this one. You can order a JB outside patch in the link in the description. But now this pocket, I, I do like, I'm just gonna point out more details because I, I just kind of like the design. I really, really do like the design. And from the front, it really doesn't look like there's anything. It doesn't look like there's another sub area. It just looks like it's a standard bag, right? Well, and even on the side, it's really not super obvious, especially when it's not packed out, but this is just a nice little fold. Ingenious little design, little detail there. I really do like, kind of goes down in there, uh, but that is where this thing folds, folds down. We're just gonna dive into it. But that just folds down. And again, it's a little orangey. Same color, you know, the Baron. Kind of put the same color on the inside of all their bags. Same kind of orangey, orangey niche, which I do love. So it's a, just a great and a little neutral color. Not super hyper orange like some of the Karyology stuff, which I also like. But in the, here, I just like this subtle orange. I carry that one to work a lot of times, uh, and it's super cool. I like that thing. One of the other big things that they've done with this one is they've included these little organizers that are removable. So in theory, you kind of keep some stuff on the go, and you maybe take this out. Again, this thing's super pumped out on the inside, so I won't actually get it back in there too easily. Now this thing's got uh, one little pole on the front, and we've got some little organization on the front. So that's nice, right? That's super cool. I like that. Nice little clips. Clips is another place on the inside. We'll get to that. Aqua guard on here. And it comes with this little strap. So 
you know, sort of the idea is you kind of go about your daily business, maybe with using this as sort of a crossbody sling. Um, yeah, probably not for me, but I mean, you could maybe under a jacket, carry some other stuff in there, but uh, it's nice. And they just came out with, I'll put a link down in the description too for this. They came out with some different ones. So if you, you know, wanted to kind of deck it out with these versions, different versions of these things, you could uh, get a couple different ones. Now, what's cool about this, and just another little layer of detail that good companies and great companies do, is there's little pleats. So when you stack this thing out with stuff, it's not completely flat in its design. It has some room to grow and expand for whatever you put in there. So I do like it, it's just not my personal style. I will use it as a removable organizer for me personally. More about that here in a second. Otherwise in this pocket, we have two little segmented mesh pockets, a key loop and a bright orange, so you can put other stuff. And this is where it attaches, just on the front, right there in the front, there's more on the inside. Now this pocket, like I said, doesn't go full depth. Let's actually unzip this thing, man. I put way too much stuff in here. But this will allow you to see that you could, and my sort of benchmark for this typically, is does it fit the regular sized iPad? In this case, in EDC mode, I'm pleased to report. <laughs> yeah, pleased to report that it actually does fit. It does barely fit. Now, because I got this thing jammed 110% full, it's a little rough on the inside, but you can operate with a normal size iPad. So for me, I could use this in work mode. I'd have to, you know, deload some stuff on the inside, but you can put a full size iPad in here. Definitely the iPad mini, a Kindle, something like that would go in here with some of your other quick on the go things. Probably your phone as you go through security and wallet and watch and some other stuff, but you know, it's one way to roll with this one. I just like that front pocket. It's just nice. Uh, one other bag, I'm not going to go full into detail, that is sort of like this design is the Axiom, the triple lot design, which I did a review of this one. But this one goes a little deeper and is just more fold down, a lot more organization here in this one. This is my drone mode bag of the Axiom and wax canvas, black wax canvas. Super cool. All right, so that's the front pocket. Let's dive in to the main, main event here. And again, super jammed full, super packed out, but we will get into it. Now, let's lay this sucker down and just flip it over. One thing they did on their design, which I'm a fan of, see on the bottom, is that the zippers go all the way around to the bottom. So when you go open up full clamshell, it is full clamshell. You're not fighting that material. The GR1 is notorious for that as it does not quite opening full clamshell, it's still fine. Now on the front panel, we get more of the orange, but we have two zip pockets, more of these zipper pulls. They're kind of everywhere. No mesh on the lower one, like you would have in a GR1, but we have an its side opening. This is where I go. It's an EDC bag because when you're on the go, you can unzip it from the side and then get into this pocket and get some stuff out and then about your business. You don't have to open the bag all the way up, you know, whatever. Or you can just zip the top and get to this top pocket. In here, perfect size for garage built gear, mighty pouch. That's just the size. You can fit more than one in there. It's a little tall, but because this pocket goes full uh, length of the bag, you can put that in there, no problem. And it fits nicely. You can put chargers in there. You could put your phone in there. Some other cords would go nicely in there, that kind of thing. Now in this pocket, we just have the cap one. Now the cap one, you really couldn't fit two of them in there and it is a little bit wide. Probably fit a GORUCK wire dop in there. Also very nice. You know, if you had one of these, that would fit in there nicely as well. There you go, boom. So wire dop, GORUCK. It's perfectly better, I would say, than the Cap 1. Now, since we're on the Cap 1 subject, does anyone else wish that the Evergoods Griffin had a Cap 1 and wax canvas? That'd be nice. But anyway, that goes in here. And then here 
to totally pack this thing out, we have two massive packing cubes. We've got the 10 liter full from GoRuck and we've got the eight liter from Evergoods to just jam this sucker full from top to bottom. Now inside here of the very top, we see some other little attachment points. That is where you can also put this thing in there. So if it wasn't a good fit for you in the front, put it in the back. Honestly, that's probably more my speed personally is to put this thing in the back just because I would probably hide some stuff in the back that I wouldn't necessarily put in the front. So that's where I'm gonna put that sucker on the inside. All right, that's a general layout. Um, when I put it back together, I'm also gonna show the, the laptop compartment, which I didn't get to that yet. And then we're gonna compare this to the GR1, but let's first pack it up. Comparing things to the GR1. But before I do that, I owed you a look at the laptop. Now, one thing that I'm not super crazy about the laptop option is you got this strap that's maybe in the way a little bit. So you either gotta bring it down and open it up or flip over and go to it. So that's just one, just very, very minor thing if you're gonna access this thing a lot of times on the go. Now this thing is again, AquaGuard and this is the 13 inch MacBook and it just clears the opening. So just be aware if you go any bigger than that, you may have a little bit of an issue getting that sucker in there. So maybe a full size iPad 13 inch MacBook Pro full to the top and bottom of this opening. So probably the biggest you'd want to go in that. There is a little bit of padding on there, no real rigidity, I would say, no frame sheet to speak of, just some padding. So the laptop actually gave it a lot of rigidity. All right, going head to head, and this is where things are kind of interesting to be quite honest. Here we are side by side. So 21 liter size, 20 liter size. And if we go, kind of what's the difference. Now this one's not 110% packed out, but you can see just a slightly more boxy and shorter, deeper, and you know, width wise, about the same. So, you know, just generally that height is that one liter difference. But uh, there you go, back panels again, that's the difference there. The GORUCK has the standard L shape um, to get to things. You kind of have to get into it. Thicker frame sheet for sure on the GR1. Top pocket. This thing is ripe for a top pocket, if you ask me. Right in there, zip here. It'd be cool. But top pocket advantage on the GR1. Handle wise, nice big and wide leather on the GR1 Heritage Editions, on the editions, both top and bottom for there. The sides, well, bottle pockets. Very ingenious design, I would say. Definitely like that a ton. Now, padding on your shoulder straps, edge to the GORUCK because these are super thick and padded. Uh, plastic buckles on here versus your metal on the track. But that's just a, a minor difference there. On the front, well, slash pocket, no sort of admin section like you do. So that's a huge difference because of the advantages that you would get. That's the advantage. Still fit an iPad in here like you can on this side. So that's a, just a minor difference, but you just get more organization and admin on that side. Now, interior wise, what do we have in here? Well, we got some surprises. Uh, mostly heritage field pockets, but we do have, this is the Griffin collection. This is the Cap 2 from Evergoods, a beautiful waxed canvas. Planning on doing a comparison video of waxed canvas things. And honestly, that's why I initially picked this up because it is a totally different dry waxed that we're gonna compare directly to this. Here's a little preview. Oh, what, can you see any shine on this one compared to this? It's dry waxed. Definitely a different feel compared to the GORUCK bag for sure. But uh, anyway, more about this later. <laughs> and also funny, 
I ordered this whole collection on release day. Still not here. Over a week. Ordered this one here in three days from Scotland. Yeah, whatever. Montana is far away. Now, what else is in here besides that? Well, we got some other waxed canvas goodies, all GR1 stuff. But uh, back panel, we have more to do. We have webbing to attach things. And we have got that plate pocket, kind of a stretchy pocket to put some more stuff on the inside. So a lot more organization on the back panel of this than what we saw on the inside of the track. Front wise, pretty much the same. You know, one top pocket like we had over here, and then we have a mesh top loading, big pocket, GR1 standard. So those are the big differences and similarities between both of these fantastic bags. Being completely honest, I got this one mostly for the waxed canvas comparison because people were asking about it and I wanted to let them know what I thought, how they fit. But out of the box, water bottles and fit and finish of this track store 2.0 20 liter, it's just really nice. I owe a trip on this bag to really give you a final verdict on what I think about it. But it is good, it's great, it's a keeper. Now, uh, in the meantime, you know, price-wise, $425, free shipping from Scotland, pretty quick. The GR1s and Heritage run $415 in this size. So you got, you know, roughly the same price point for two amazing bags. No top pocket, but, you know, more organization in the front. So there you go. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I got a lot more stuff coming out. Some pretty cool things. I'm really going to do the bag drag. I'm really going to drag it. Uh, and it's going to be awesome. Most cameras I've used in one shoot. Most complicated. A lot of things. Be enrolled into that. You're not going to miss it. So definitely sign up for alerts. Really want to see some bags getting drugged down by dirt and gravel road. So stay tuned for that one. It's definitely happening. Just, you know, weather. Weather this week didn't allow me to do it. So we go with the track store, which is awesome. Let's get outside. See you in the next video. Two things I needed to look up and I didn't. One is... The other side of the coin, we need to go GR1 Heritage.